Hey family, Grand Rising, it's your girl, High Priestess Mar, back with more tea, back with another read. Um, so I do apologize, family, the reads are coming in a little late, okay, I was saying that they might, I, I tried to finish them, um, by the middle of the night, but my mic died and I needed to let it charge and I fell asleep. Um, so I am finishing them up this morning, okay, and I do apologize that it's a little later. Um, today's Noel's birthday. And yesterday I was running around all day. So when I got back in the house, cooked my food for my family and made her birthday cake. Because uh, I always like making their birthday cakes. I'm off a viral one, but uh, something from the heart for mom. I always make their cakes. Um, but so when by the time I got done doing all that, finished up the readings, by the time I got done, it was like 3 something in the morning, my mic had died. So I get back up early this morning and finish it out before I got to go do whatever I got to do because I'm going to be busy today again. So excuse me, family. I do apologize, okay? But let's go right in and see what's the current energy for my water family. It's Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, okay? High power, archangels, ancestors, gods, goddesses of the divine white light. Please protect me and my water family as we dip into this read. Please protect our energy from any unwanted souls, vibes, or entities. Please give us the clarity and the truth. Please surround us with your love and guide us with your wisdom, all that the ever. High power archangels, ancestors of the divine white light, showing gratitude and thanks for all the blessings, the lessons, the seasons, and new beginnings for you delivering us away from temptation, guiding us throughout our journey to the motherland of milk and honey. Forever grateful for your divine protection and love. Amen. Now, with that being said, we're gonna tap right in. Let's see what is the current energy for my Pisces. Pisces gang. High power archangels, ancestors, gods, and goddesses. What is the current energy for my Pisces family? Somebody could be dealing with a Leo. I'm hearing negativity. Okay. Or you could have Leo in your chart. It could be something negative going on. Okay. Are you you're surrounded by negativity? You feel like it's a lot of people that's negative or Maybe you can even feel like you could be a little negative about certain things. Okay? Let's see. What's going on here for my Pisces? What's the current? Or this could be you dealing with a Leo or you got Leo in your chart. Either way it go. So please keep in mind, I am not only a tarot reader, but I'm also a prophet. My readings definitely could be future-based. Please take whatever resonates for you and leave the rest. Yeah, I was getting like... Somebody here could be like a tarot reader or a spiritualist of some sort. Teaching. I'm here teaching in advance. Okay, this could be like with signs of Fikinashi. is giving out some type of warning or saying something. Um, there could also be something with an audience. This could definitely be future-based. You got thoughts. So I feel like somebody could be watching you. Maybe you get somebody in their head, okay? Um, and sensing. I feel like somebody's on a rise, okay? Somebody is broadening their horizon at that too like i'm getting like a, a broader perspective um heavy duty thinking i'm also hearing allegations so hmm, which whip blast shit bro i don't know i'm getting that jimmy neutron got a blast i don't know somebody could be moving quick or somebody could be like a scientist experiment um doing some type of experiment lab rat test dummy i'm getting um, is somebody testing a subject on you or, um, I'm getting like this weird Area 51 type of energy, like out of this world, I don't know. Somebody literally could have been doing something with your DNA, um, with your brain, something with the brain cells advance the brain cells, see if something was going to advance or decrease. Something with that. I don't know. Somebody looking at some type of chart. It's like doing something and then sitting back and watching the reaction. I feel like somebody's amazed at what they're done or what they were doing. Somebody's like an evil scientist or evil genius or something. It's, I'm here Bigfoot. It's giving me the energy of like somebody doing like Frankenstein. It's like something like that, like experimenting on some shit, calling themselves a scientist. But I feel like somebody is or could be possibly trying to do good for humanity or thought they was. 
Um, but we got numbers 14, number 16, number 24 can be significant here. What is teaching? Allegations. So I'm getting like something that's, I'm hearing realistic. There's a conversation here about some type of imbalancement, okay? Or something being said or being known nationwide about an imbalancement. Yeah, witchcraft. Okay, so I feel like somebody could be teaching you or saying something. This don't have to be just you or you teaching somebody. Okay, take how it resonates. Um, I was going to say Libra. Okay, Pisces. Take how it resonates. I'll also hear Scorpio. Where do you have those highly expected in your chart? Or these are people who could be actually teaching you, monitoring you. Somebody's monitoring your perspective. Um, they want to see what you have to say about a particular situation. Cause and effect. Um, somebody could be watching your home or studying you close, like a lab rat type of energy. I don't know. There could even be cameras, hidden cameras, a vehicle, hidden vehicles, people hiding um, right in your face as well. Okay, so take take mind of that. Mm, it could be weird as fuck. But with the Four of Cups coming out in the reverse, that's my mic, mic check. <laughs> um, so with the Four of Cups coming out in the reverse here, this is something you don't want to reject. So it's like you're needing to take into something here. Um, it's like if you're in denial about something or you don't want to hear something, you feel like it's a mistake or it's not true. It's like it's 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 for a reason. So it's like. You need to be listening to this, this bit of advice or this teaching, something to gain some type of understanding and knowledge here. You need to take something serious. If if you are the one that's teaching somebody, then this is somebody who is um taking it serious, whatever you're saying to them. Shit, somebody is in amazement about whatever you're saying to them. Um, nine of swords. Come not in a reverse. Meaning like, I don't know, somebody could have been disrupted disrupted during sleep, okay? Okay, or it's a, it's the energy of somebody's having nightmares. Somebody could be entering a dream state, torturing somebody, or this could be something that had happened in the past. We got the King of Cups coming out in reverse, so this can make it rain, bitch. Make it, make it rain, bitch. I don't know. I'm going to make it rain. I'm going to make it rain. Um, I don't know. I feel like somebody learned their lessons by trying to be Mr. Big Shop, trying to afford everything or, or be Mr. I'm hearing Call of Duty. Somebody can play Call of Duty. Somebody here is in this high for energy. You could be dealing with a tourist. Somebody's favorite food could be pizza or like somebody like pizza or pizza sauce. So it could be like spaghetti, pizza, lasagna. I'm also here Alfredo. Somebody could just like Italian food or pasta. I'm here, Mr. Big Stuff. Who do you think you are? I feel like if you are the feminine here, then you could have learned less about dealing with a cross watcher, okay? They could also be a Pisces, but this person could have different placements um, that does not land them as significant as you. Now, I keep saying this King of Cups. It don't have to be a Pisces. It could just be a water sign. But I feel like there's a cross watcher here. Um, somebody's watching. Yeah, Hierophant again. Okay, so a higher fit is cross watching over a Pisces. So this could be a Taurus watching a Pisces. Heal. Somebody's healing from an Empress in reverse. So somebody's watching in order to heal. But we got the Knight of Wands. They're healing from somebody and they moved away from this energy, but they're still debating whether or not with the Wheel of Fortune and the um, Knight of Wands, whether or not this is for them, whatever this is. If this is for them, should they leave it? Should they come? Should they stay? Should they go? Okay, somebody, is, they've been through a whole lot. Okay, they want to make sure that something is financial, like something is stable. Um, I feel like somebody has some type of crack foundation. It's like started out, I'm here, started from the bottom, now we here. Started from the bottom now. Excuse me, not a whole team fucking here. So this can just be like somebody making sure that they are financially stable on their behalf. Okay, 
okay? Because we got the Ten of Wands coming out in the reverse. This is boundaries being released, okay? Um, discovering new new heights or seeing things for what it is, okay? Yeah, somebody having boundaries about thinking that they the big stuff with the world. This is something they saw. It's giving me like an ego death. Somebody had to sit their ass down, have several feet, several feet. And I'm hearing, I, I said several feet. So somebody had to be away from somebody. Somebody could have wanted to lay hands, feet on somebody. But something happened. Somebody, I don't know, distance. Distance horizon. Somebody could have wanted to hurt somebody, really. Um, this could be been you want to hurt this Pisces. Our Pisces wanted to hurt you, just being honest. But I feel like something had to be at a distance. Um, there was also some type of warnings that was given. Somebody could have gave you somebody warnings energetically. Okay, we got this good news. A cycle is closed and something is ending out. Okay, something treacherous. So something you had to deal with for a long time. Yeah, somebody's finally get to heal. Somebody's finally get to rest from whatever that they were dealing with. I feel like this could be you, cross watcher. You were in some type of marriage, and Pisces could have warned you about it, or taught you something, or said something to you significant. Um, that that struck something in you. I'm hearing grease lightning. I don't know. I'm getting like, yeah, grease. Grease can be significant. The movie Grease, and like, also like, um. Somebody could be having, like, Greek ethnicity, okay? Greek background of some sort. But there was a marriage here. But why is it coming out like this? Oh, okay. So, somebody's healing for a marriage. That's what that is. Now, Pisces, you could be watching this too, okay? Or like I said, this person could have Pisces placement. But somebody definitely is a cross watcher, meaning a sun sign is not the same. Um, but it doesn't matter. We welcome cross watchers as well. But I'm getting like both two people here is watching, okay? One of them is, you know, healing, okay? I'm hearing killed or be killed. So I feel like somebody feel like they had to get somebody out the way or get something out the way. I'm a man out of vision, out of sense. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, It's Boy George. I don't know. That's significant for somebody. Somebody could be in this flamboyant energy or somebody dealt with somebody who was flamboyant. I feel like somebody could have killed that side of them or trying to heal what makes them that. Like, it's like, no, you know, somebody wants to be. Who they want to be, but it's healing why you are um, in that particular energy. Now, this could be somebody leaving somebody out in the cold, because somebody could have left somebody out who was in this Boy George energy. Yes, yeah, somebody was collaborating. This was like a third party celebration, getting together. For some of you guys, this could be some type of bisexual act where somebody could have had like a, a, a potential boyfriend that they could have left out in the cold. Um, shout out to my LGBTQ free vibes. Okay, you know how we do over here, but this is the truth. So take it however you want to take it. Um, we got the Queen of Wands I just seen. So I feel like somebody is actually very passionate and very happy. Okay, somebody could definitely be very mysterious. Queen of Cups, a lot of love with the King of Cups. This is soulmate energy. Somebody could be looking at somebody as their soulmate. This could be why they left uh, a recent potential lover or some, some, a lifestyle. I'm hearing it's a wild, wild lifestyle. It's a wild, wild lifestyle. You tried to play me, but the joke's on you. If she a dog, I'm a dog too. The song is by Rum Raniti. I haven't heard her music in a long time. But it's called, If He a Dog, Then I'm a Dog Too. You tried to play me, but the joke's on you. Somebody directed this towards a Pisces. 
Somebody's like, if you a dog, I'm a dog too. So I feel like somebody was went on like a dog spree. Um, I feel like it's a lot of lies. It was a lot of lies. It was a lot of gossip. That's why we have imbalanced men with the eight of wands. Somebody is fucked up because they went on a whole spree, shopping spree, or they could have been taking hoes shopping. I'm here. I'm a gigolo with lots of hoes. I feel like somebody was out here just swinging a wang. And I feel like they were trying to hurt somebody's feelings. Yeah, see how you got this ace of wands in the air? They were definitely trying to hurt somebody's feelings. But I feel like they were the only ones whose feelings got hurt. Okay? This person was the only one whose feelings got hurt. Um, yeah, because they really have all this love. And they blocked it. They really had all this love and they blocked it out um, because of their emotions. They had too many emotions or this was somebody who was an overthinker. They criticized or they judged. They overthink. Um, it wasn't even what they thought it was. I don't know. It could have been a lie or it could have just been like this person over fucking thinking. Okay, they didn't have enough clarity, and they could have denied or said no to this to a soulmate, or this is something that's coming up. Okay, because they don't know. Um, but we have thoughts, thoughts up in my head. I feel like somebody knows that they're getting closer to their dreams. Okay, their affirmations in life, or this could be somebody that's feeling this way about you. You getting close to your dreams, your affirmation in life. You could be have Virgo in your chart, okay? Because with the Ten of Swords, that's recovery. That's also discovery as well. So I feel like somebody, uh, when the nails and the sword was drawn and it was aimed, set fire, and shit was, you know, winning somebody's back, you know, the, the, the nails, the swords, winning somebody's back, they took it for where they took it from. I feel like now this person's thinking about you, how they stabbed you in the back with the dagger, you know, multiple times, multiple transactions, multiple disturbances. I feel like you're going to be disturbed when you find out exactly what the fuck this person was doing energetically and on the surface to try to piss you off or get under your skin. Um, It's actually really sad. Queen of Cups in reverse. Now, for some of y'all, you did find out and you turned your cup away. You turned away from this person. From some of y'all, you intuitively knew, yeah, about a third party or these two of cups, these these two of cups relationships, this injustice that was done. Mm -hmm. The loyalty was the loyalty wasn't there. Um, I feel like loyalty could be the biggest thing for you, and it wasn't there. Like somebody, somebody didn't. They, they weren't loyal, or they were loyal to the wrong people. Um, you know this. You know this now. I feel like this person's thinking about you heavily. Are you thinking about them? Maybe wondering what they are doing in life. How are they doing in life? I feel like even after somebody brutally betrayed you, you're still brutally honest. You still, you know, have love in your heart in like a, a pet kind of way. Like, oh yeah, a nice little pet. But it's like, yeah, you still gotta sleep in the hallway type of energy. Like, no, you can't be trusted. Bro. I feel like that's the energy here. Because with the food coming out in reverse, that's like, no, nah, I'll be damned if I take a risk on you. Hell no. Nah. I didn't found too much shit out about you. You stab me. You 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 do sneaky stuff or stuff like that. Like, I feel like somebody was really, really like a snake in the grass, crawled up to bite you. Okay. Oh, excuse me. It was coming out in reverse because this is discovery. Yeah, Queen of Wands here. I'm getting like, excuse me, miss. I saw you from across the room. And you got my attention. You're making me want to say, oh, I don't know your name. But excuse me, miss. I say the last dance for you. I feel like somebody went and peeked in on your life. And they found out that you was out here popping, looking good and shit. And you getting your money. Somebody like, damn, Pisces bossed up or something like that. Uh, damn, you ain't focused on me at all. I'm hearing y'all. I'm hearing, and if I'm hearing, if he a dog, I'm a dog too. You try to play me, but the jokes on you. 
Ah, Empress. Yeah. Y'all, whoever y'all dealing with, man, she ain't fucking when I'm broke, nigga. Wait, what'd he say? She ain't, I ain't saying she's a gold digger, but she ain't fucking with no broke to broke. I feel like somebody out here like, yeah, you bossed up, I'ma boss up too, baby. But I'ma show you how I'ma boss up. I'ma boss up with my money. I don't know. It's this energy of like not playing tit for tat. Maybe somebody can feel like it's tit for tat. I feel like it's not tit for tat, but you took these daggers and you, it's like you, you damn near took the swords out of your own bag and started juggling them. You took that shit into consideration and made them opportunities. Now you throwing shots. You throwing those same knife at targets. You get what I'm saying? I'm here, boy. Bullseye. <laughs> I can never fucking say it. Oh, this came out in one of those other readings. I kept trying to say, but I think it was in the Earth readings. Check out one of those damn Earth readings. It was at a, it could be Capricorn or Taurus, one of those. Or Virgo, but it's, it's, it's giving me, like, boys, I, I can never say it, though. But somebody had a, a target, and they aimed it, okay? I'm hearing wish granted. Something's being granted here from the divine. That's why we have this ascension here. Wow, look at that divine time in numbers 30. Ooh. Somebody should never pray with whoever this is. If somebody was doing something that they had no bill, wow. My man, thank you to my man. My man, thank you to my man. Is what I'm hearing. So there's a death or an ending. We got a wealthy man. I'm hearing new beginning. Venus placement. Somebody can have Aries placement. Scorpio placement. Um, Moon and Taurus. Uh... There's a death. Maybe somebody got some money from a death or somebody was finna end something out or somebody died. Something had it, happened at a distance here. Um, Y'all, what I'm getting though is somebody played with the wrong one when it, when it comes to like witchcraft and stuff. If somebody was doing that shit, I, I don't see it out here, but if somebody was doing that shit, I feel like you, you manifested your justice because there definitely was an injustice that was done. You manifested a justice here, and that could definitely have something to do with death. I feel like you're not taking that back. I'm getting cause and effect. So it's like you're literally looking the other way when it comes to whoever my body started dropping like flies, and it was weird, like people dying and they sleep and shit. You just looking the other way. It's like, yeah, because I, I wanted my justice. I feel like you're not letting that down. I'm not getting tip for tat, but you want everything that was done for you. You want to folded because I feel like somebody understands the law of attraction. So it's like it's me or you. You put that shit out there it's definitely not going to be me so I have to go back to you. I feel like somebody has their head down working. Okay, they're studying. They're observing. Somebody's watching. Um, I'm here humiliated. <clears throat> Somebody could definitely be getting some humiliating news this week. Or this weekend. This is the weekend. Weekend that's coming up or this week that's coming up. I'm here Friday, so something's going to be happening. This could be last Friday or this could be this Friday. Something significant about Friday. It's Friday. Friday, baby. Somebody could have been turning up Friday, having a good time. And I'm going to party. Get my groove on. Get my groove on. It's Friday. I don't know. This could be something that's coming up. Somebody want to take you out on a Friday night, Friday night live, I'm hearing. Um, this could be like a concert, theater, something here. Elegant boss or something where you got to dress up possibly. Um, night of Pentacles here. Somebody could be working or working on a routine. Somebody staying consistent. Okay, consistent growth. I feel like somebody's working on their loyalty. I ain't even going to lie. Yep, Eight of Swords. Somebody's working on loyalty. I feel like somebody tried to play somebody, but somebody ran into a bigger dog. It's like, if you a dog, I'm a dog, too. You tried to play me, but the joke's on you. Yeah. I feel like you had to show a motherfucker, like, I can be a dog, too. Energetically, somebody um, manifested somebody's karma. Like, yeah, you're going to get everything you did. I'll make sure you do. 
out. I'm gonna make sure you get everything, everything you dished out. That shit gonna be handed right back to you. I feel like how the power was on somebody's side too. Down to the fucking T. I'm hearing to the wire. To the man and the This could have had something to do with a shooting, okay, in a Gemini, or, or somebody had Gemini placements. Hold on, baby. This could have something to do with a shooting, down to the exact T. I feel like whatever somebody said happened. Somebody's a man, master manifester, and it's because they could be a tarot reader, a spiritualist, or they hit, they meant to teach something here. I probably was on this person's side. Sorry, not sorry. Okay, this could be trigger warning for somebody. Like, damn, higher power took somebody's side. Yes, 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 he did. Yes, yes, he did. Um, yes, yes, he did. I'm hearing that right off the bat. I feel like this could definitely be triggering for somebody. And higher power saying, if you're somebody and you made adjustments and you're changing your life around, congratulations, baby. And he will do the same thing for you. If somebody was coming at you disrespectfully and wrong for no reason, he's going to back your corner. As you did, as he did for somebody who you tried to back in the corner. I'm hearing nobody backs baby in the corner. Just period. So I am really getting like, yeah, high power granted this person's every wish. Yeah. Timmy is an average kid and no one understands. Mom and dad and Vicky is always giving him commands. I feel like whoever I'm talking to, you are being taught that you are divine as well. You had a, cu a couple karmic lessons. That's why somebody's study coming out as the hermit. Ooh, hermit, baby. I didn't even mean to say that. I meant the hierophant. So you're watching. You're observing at this time, and you're realizing that, damn, I'm just as special. It's not that higher power took sides. It's just that there was lessons to be learned. It's like getting a spiritual ass whooping. It just is what it is. And I feel like somebody put somebody in control of, like, your fate, your destiny. Since this is the person that tried to help you, this is the person that's calling the shots. I call the shots, shots, shots. Like, blah, blah, blah. You pay me what you wanted. Don't act like you forgot. Bitch better have my money. I feel like somebody coming for it. Like, nope. I'm coming for everything that I deserve, everything I want. I want my justice completely, 100%. I'm not turning around on it. Somebody, somebody, somebody is watching and observing, and somebody else is making sure that they get everything that they um, was destined for. It's like, no, I will not be deceived. I will not be, somebody's just standing up for themselves. It's like, no. We got a karmic lover here. Who the fuck is this? Uh-uh, uh-uh. Who is that bitch? Come over here and ask me for some money. Go ask that bitch for some money. I don't know, y'all. Y'all dealing with a... um. Somebody could definitely be dealing with a Felicia, and somebody definitely dealing with an old girl from Friday. I only she ain't even have a name. Yeah, fall in love again. So somebody dealing with two different females, but they want to fall in love again. Okay. Um, or this is a karmic past person that wants to fall in love again. We got the lovers in reverse, and we got the two of cups in reverse up here too. So, yeah, I definitely feel like this is two different relationships here. Somebody dealing with, like, real life or Felicia. Somebody was in between two different females. Yeah, I'm hearing I got gigolos with lots of hoes. And, y'all, I'm getting, like, this shit trash. So, if you the Pisces here, don't be triggered by them having plenty of hoes, a lot of hoes. All these hoes was weak. They was downgrade. I ain't going to lie. I'm being honest, bro. Y'all know I ain't going to sit up here and come over here and play in your face. And this person know that. This person know you're beautiful. Okay, you're a free spirit, you're young, you're smart, you're experimental. Okay, this person's actually in love with you, but I feel like they went out and, and, and went to the pound, like for real. They went and got holes with bullet holes, wounds, and shit, you know, and tried to put them up against you. Like, yeah. I don't know if they tried to put dress these women up, put them on heels, get them makeup done, wigs and shit. And it's like, you can, you can. Shit, I'm here. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Ooh, somebody said I'm a hater. First of all, I just heard that energetically. First of all, this ain't no hating shit. This is being for real. This is being upfront honest. I feel like somebody don't want you to know that. 
or like somebody want to make it seem like they was out here just doing the damn thing. Y'all, they was fucking with rats. Rats, roaches, the peasants as bitches. These wasn't no bitches that could sit with you and compete or compare with you at any day. They I'm just gonna be honest. They can't. I don't care if I don't care what they mix with, they raised. I don't care what they I don't care money. I, these hoes had fucking traumas and triggers in their heart that they needed to heal, but because they don't want to heal, it made them to- toxic. It makes them a target out in society, meaning like Higher power, for some of y'all, you got your eyes on some of these damn people. If you the one throwing a target, aim, shot, I'm not getting like you're coming for females like like that. But I'm getting like higher power, set your aim on these people. Might not You might not even have been knowing it. So I'm hearing don't hate the player, hate the motherfucking game. For some of y'all, you got to expose it. these people who they thought were better than you. You thought they were better than me after I tried to help you and teach you some shit? Then higher power put your aim on these people. Like, well, let me show you what this motherfucker be doing in the dark. Yeah. And I don't feel like it was on purpose. And I feel like the tables are always turning. If we got that, you a dog, I'm a dog too. That has turned. Oh, don't hit the player, hit the game. That has turned as well. Somebody's like, don't hit the player, hit the game. Reverse psychology, motherfucker. It's like, yeah, these are your hoes. These are who you're surrounded by, but let me show you the mirror. Let me show you what you, because somebody, I don't know, y'all, somebody really tried to dress these females up, dress these men up. I'm hearing Captain save a hoe. Motherfucker out here saving hoes and shit, and these hoes don't want to be saved. Yeah, I'm hearing don't save us. She don't want to be saved. I feel like somebody out here, they, they karmics. They karmics, literally. And, you know, I don't really come and be trying to label people, but, Cause karmic is an unhealed soul, but I feel like somebody here they 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 want to be like that. They don't give a fuck. They was out to use whoever this person is, but this person wanted to take these people and smear it in your face. Like, yeah, look at all the bitches I can get. Look at all the guys I can get. Look what I can do. You like, boy, if you don't get your pet roaches and your pet spiders and get your shit up out of here. Get, get your goddamn bag, pet bad bugs and all that shit. Motherfucker like, yeah, do it big then. They thought that they was doing something. And they had like a fucking zoo behind them or something like, what? They ain't getting ape shit. Nah. Now for some of y'all, somebody could really be dealing with an ape. Ape ass motherfucker that don't got no damn self-control. Um, Somebody gonna laugh. I, I see somebody laugh. Fuck your family and friends, yeah. A motherfucker that don't got no self control. Look, they wanted a freak, freak hoes, freak hoes. Make your knees touch your elbows. This bitch sucking everybody dick from the back. They was a freak guy. They were definitely a freak baby. Yeah, freaky, freaky, freaky. I feel like somebody liked it that shit. But they ain't like it when they found that motherfucker was fucking with their family member and their friends. Yeah, I seen spirits that walk away. They was in their feelings. Like, damn, on what? You freaky like that? Somebody like, yep. Some of y'all I'm hearing, somebody like, something about a daddy. I want, I don't want him because I want his daddy. Aquarius energy. I feel like this could have some. If somebody was dealing with somebody else, it was because of... um. Somebody like control. So somebody wants somebody to control somebody. It was fucking with an individual to try to, try to control you, Pisces. Okay? Like control your feelings, your life. Like as if you were going to fall or shrivel up because a person's not in your life. And then they did the same thing to this person. They went to fuck with somebody that they felt like was better or had control over this person to try to crush them. This is somebody who... Whoever this third party is, this is like somebody who they come for motherfuckers. They come and they do not, they they play hardball. This is, this motherfucker be trying to make people cry and stuff like that. Like, oh yeah, bitch, I'm going to make you cry. I'm going to, I'm going to hurt your fuck out your feelings or something like that. Watch and see what I do or something like that. Yeah, I'm jealous of you. I feel like this all got something to do with jealousy. Somebody definitely wants somebody to fall back in love, though. 
Nobody wants somebody to fall back in love. Now, whether you know they had sex with your family member or friends, you probably don't even know this. You will find this out. Yeah, curly hair. Somebody got curly hair. Yeah, spirit said new beginning. I can't make it up. I never come on here and play on your face. This person's a narcissist. This person's a narcissist. Somebody could be closing in so, on somebody. Um, this person has a dirty house. They don't keep themselves clean. Not even their hygiene. Yeah, plotting in on it. Text you, but never sent it. But some of y'all, you could be trying to warn warn somebody. I'm hearing trigger warning. Somebody could be trying to warn somebody. Somebody could have sent plotting on a text message or something that they want to send to somebody because they have been keeping up a routine of keeping this narcissist away from them. They want to let you know that. Like, I'm no longer. Now, if this person was a narcissist in the past, they no longer want to be in that energy. But I feel like this is somebody, they could have been a narcissist. That's why it's coming out in the uh, reverse. And they're keeping up a routine of coming out of that energy, okay. But there's a, somebody with curly hair is heartbroken. Somebody's a bad mother as well. Yeah, they trash. Somebody like, I can't do shit with you. You can't even take care of the kids when I need you to. A simple like that. Like, you can't even do nothing for the kids. You can't even take care of your damn self. Yeah, affected by karmic beautiful and tell the truth i feel like this damn karmic is affected by you they too busy watching and stalking you that they can't it's almost like this person's ob ob obsessive over you or something i could be talking to it could be both it could be a masculine they could be obsessed about everything like for some of y'all you dealing with a twin and somebody here was like a karmic soulmate or something yeah and there's something about the truth being revealed here. We got beautiful. Somebody really finds somebody beautiful. And this karmic hates that shit. Like, they, they stomach get to turning in knots. They feelings hurt. They want to cry all the time. Because somebody really admires and feels like somebody is beautiful. And it's like an honest, genuine feeling. And somebody can't take that. This, this period. But that's all I have for you guys. Yeah, a reader loves to read. That was just at the bottom of the deck. Um, but that's all I have for you guys. Thanks for chilling with your girl, okay? I appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing to the channel. Thank you so very much. If this reading has helped you um, in any kind of way, definitely go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And definitely go ahead and hit that notification bell so that you're updated when there's new videos. I love you guys. And I'll definitely catch you the next one. Family, peace, love, and prosper. Bye. Hey family, welcome back to my um channel. It's your girl Happy Sis Mar. Back on more tea, back on another read, and we're gonna go right in and save our space to see what the current energy for my cancer. I already got something going here. Um what do you say? Say what's your name is. Oh yeah, that's what what do you say? Tell me where you're headed. Can I walk with you, girl? You got that look in your eyes. And say, Here, boy, good on time, and I'm on it, girl. That's right, I'm on it, girl. Ooh, Ooh excuse me. Somebody could be dealing with a tourist, or you need to go check out that tourist read, or somebody could just like Chris Brown. Somebody could be a dancing-ass motherfucker. They like to dance. They be moving and dancing and shit. What do you say? I'm looking over your shoulder. Let me not make make my way over. Excuse me. How you doing? So I can get to know you in the same sense. But the night is over. Oh, what do you say? All I really want is to back it up on you. What you waiting? It's all I do what you want to make me believe it. Ooh, I want to see it. Get it, shouted. Somebody's a fucking snake. See the venom? I didn't even mean to do that. Somebody's a fucking snake.
Um, it'd be crazy how when you allow high power to orchestrate and guide you. I just did that randomly with my damn hands, and I look down. So let's see what the hell is going on, Cancer. Um, higher power, archangels, ancestors, gods, goddesses of the divine white light. Please protect me and my Cancer family as we dip into this read. Please protect our energy from any unwanted souls, vibes, or entities. Please excuse me. Please give us the clarity and the truth. Please surround us with your love and guide us with your wisdom. Um, high power archangels and ancestors of the divine white light. Showing gratitude and thanks for all the blessings, the lessons, the seasons, and new beginnings. May you deliver us a western sensation, guiding us throughout our journey to the motherland of milk and honey. Forever grateful for your divine protection and love. Amen. So, Cancer, I'm here. There's a snake in my view. I feel like this snake is closer. This snake is closer than you might think, baby. You need to be aware. They could be creeping up on you, trying to bite you. Somebody's trying to infect you with their poison. Somebody you could just meet out on the street or like literally could be having their eyes on you. With that, tell me where you're headed. Can I walk with you, girl? This is giving me energy like somebody trying to introduce themselves in like a store or a mall or something. You got that look in your eyes, looking like you want to get your boy here a good old time, and I'm on it, girl. That's why I'm on it, girl. Somebody looks like, if you're a feminine, somebody feels like you look like you got good yoni. Like, this is what they're basing off of. Like, they could be studying your walk. Like, damn, I bet that's a good or something like that. What's this for my cancer family? Ooh. Ooh, excuse me for all the yarn and grand rising as well, family. Please keep in mind, I'm not only a tarot reader, but I'm also a psychic. My readers definitely could be future-based. Please take whatever resonates for you and leave the rest. We got imprisonment as number 29 in teaching. Mm -hmm. That just came off of Pisces. Ring the alarm. I've been going so hard, but I'll be damned if I see another bitch in your arm. Don't you ring me along. I've been going so hard, but I'll be damned if I see another bitch in your arm. Somebody dealing with a Virgo. We got ancient wisdom here, number 34. Numbers 14, numbers 29 can be significant. Someone is wise beyond their years. Okay, just period point blank. Uh it's an energy of like you can't you can't out slick the slicker. Is it what it's giving me? Yeah, somebody get wet when they be drinking. Somebody, I don't know. I'm getting something about wet sex. This is what somebody thinking about. Look, King of Wands. Somebody think about how somebody be getting wet when they get drunk. They get they pussy get wet or something, y'all. I don't know. If this person done had drinks with you, they feel like you get a little loose. Somebody could, somebody could be wanting to have somebody. Okay, somebody could be wanting to have. Somebody to go out and get some drinks. Like, let's get some drinks. So you can get loose or something. But I feel like you're not somebody who's going to get your shit up to anybody. You got a specific person that you do certain stuff with. Like, somebody could be like, let's go have drinks. Let's let's go out. And expecting you to, like, just have, like, a one-night stand or something. Yeah, this could be this person that's in jail or going to jail or somebody's facing spiritual court. It's like the first person you meet out on the town you have sex with or something. Two of Cups, yeah. Somebody wants to put you on a Two of Cups in reverse relationship, okay? Somebody want to make sure you be with somebody that um not going to treat you right, not going to do you right, just be like one night stands or, or um, permit being promiscuous. I'm also hearing judgmental. Dingy with your energy. So it's like not actually being in the energy of ever being in a, you know, or the mindset of ever being in a, a, a actual committed relationship. I'm hearing that shit. If he a dog, I'm a dog too. I, I feel like for some of y'all, this is where that dog shit come from. You need to go check out Pisces Reed. Um, we were saying about tit for tat and... All that other stuff. I feel like this is where somebody, this is where something came from. Or where the fuck. 
They came from a damn queen of swords that's going a punk ass to jail, okay? Because I feel like this person had their hand in a whole lot of kicking shit up, kicking dirt up. And I'm also getting like, yeah, with the devil in reverse, somebody's breaking out of toxicity or there's a contract or some type of bondage here that has been broken. Somebody could be realizing how fucking karmic somebody is. Maybe you met this person out on a time and just started fucking with them and it was a one night stand. Okay, whatever. You got drunk. Or this could be somebody who was getting drunk and having sex with everybody. For some of y'all, there's a woman though. If they did this, they was projecting this energy back onto you. They want this to happen to you. They want you to be in a non-committal relationship. But they see somebody's watching you, and I feel like you breaking out of toxicity, though. You, like, what I'm saying is, like, you somebody, and yeah, I'm hearing no limits. They don't want you to have limits. You somebody who has limits, though. Now, this could be two different situations. I'm also dealing with somebody who don't have no fucking limits. They just do whatever the fuck they want to. They get drunk. They fuck everybody. Yeah, a king of swords. I mean, a queen of swords. Yeah, this person could definitely be in king of swords energy. Or somebody's watching the hell out of this person. Maybe somebody lied about it. Because we got rebirth. And then queen of swords in reverse. Okay, so we got a queen of swords. We got a queen of swords in reverse. So I feel like this queen of swords is having discernment and having some type of rebirth. Maybe you had your eyes on somebody you thought you were going to be with or something like that. And it did not work out. Or you felt like this person was only in it for sex. You felt like it was a snake around you. So you have discernment. But we have a rebirth coming in for you. And then we got this queen of swords here. This bitch is pissed off. I feel like because you got discernment and she's steady trying to beat you at your game. Or she's steady trying to one up on you. But I feel like that shit is not working. Because what's going on is there's a lot of gossip that's going on to delay something here. It's like she's saying like shit and then running back and running her mouth and then the shit is not even playing out. So it's making her look even more stupid. Wow, gift. I feel like this is a blessing from the divine. Your discernment. Keep praying for your discernment. Because I feel like somebody could be trying to make you to be the bad guy. 911 angelic assistance. I don't know if y'all can hear the sirens. But somebody's trying to make somebody out to be the bad guy. Um, it ain't working. It's not working. It's like setting somebody up for the okie doke and then going out and um telling everybody like, oh yeah, they they fuck with somebody else. They they fucking or they having sex. They're doing this and that and that. But it's not working because you're praying for discernment and you're having knowledge about what's going on. So it's like motherfucker can't slick the slicker. All right, King of Wands. What's with this motherfucker? Yes, there's a King of Wands in your energy. This person is not balanced, okay? They are in some type of hypnosis or mind control. This woman has placed magic upon them. Um, confusion spells, illusion spells. This could be about you or what is right. For some of y'all, it's not necessarily that this person is a bad person but what this woman is doing um i don't know if she actually knows this person let's see the cars don't want to match y'all see that yeah somebody actually feels like they're beautiful They're being mind controlled. So I know it's real, and the verse we in the reverse, and light skinned it. Yeah, mm. somebody could. It's almost giving me energy like somebody could want somebody to break up with somebody or stop talking to them, so they know it's real. With that anniversary in the reverse, it's like not reuniting. Um, I don't know. Somebody could be trying to prove some type of fact here. 
Uh, maybe it's this queen of swords trying to prove some type of fact. Yeah, money hungry in the reverse. Somebody here is money hungry. They just want some money. Okay, so this queen of wands could be in the middle of something to, to get some money from it. They actually think you're beautiful. Yeah, affected by karmic, but this, this karmic has a strong hold over them. They're doing some type of hypnosis or confusion. So it's like if somebody really thought you were attractive, Okay, I don't know if they know this person or they don't know this person. I don't know if this is all energetically doing this or this person was sent towards you on purpose. But I feel like for some of y'all, this person was sent towards you on purpose. It was to stop you from coming towards somebody or to stop somebody to come towards somebody. The thought of you being with her drives me crazy. This motherfucker is trying to pull all type of tricks out of that fucking bag all oh, mine they're trying to hold on to somebody but they're really trying to hold on to somebody's blessings they're holding on to somebody because somebody's blessed and we got bitch i'm in my bag i feel like somebody's been working their ass off or they will have a lot of money and somebody's trying to make sure they get a piece of the pie so they sent in some type of decoy this king of wands here to try to steal or take something away um they place some type of lustful energy on this person, a, a demon, a snake. Like, you might even look at this person, do like the little snake lick, like the, the, they got a snake tongue. Um, getting, I'm giving like, y'all know, yep, emperor in reverse. This person is not your emperor, or they're not a good emperor. They could not be a good father figure or something here. Something with that, king of swords. Or this could be somebody else. But y'all know off of um, Harry Potter, when um, dude turned into that rat, like how some of his features was coming out, like like he started shaking and shit or moving around like a rat or he had big feet, like he looked like a rat or something. And it's like you you, you look at a motherfucker and you can kind of tell. I feel like you see people's demons, whether they know this or not, you can see people's demons. You can look in the depth, the eyes and the soul. Yeah, you're healed like that. You got it like that. High priority. This is one of your many abilities to be able to see shit, okay? You're the empress. To be able to see and discern. So I feel like you done picked up on the motherfucker. Motherfucker done did something. Yep, this emperor in reverse. They did something where it let you, it let it know, it would let it be known that they're a fucking snake. They could have fucking, I don't care if they got on their damn belly and moved around and you was like, damn, you a snake. Like, they did something physical. They could have did the snake. I, I'm not finna get into it. Because, you know, you got the streets that's walking, and the streets that's watching, and they stalking. So, therefore, they finna be trying to be up on a game about a lot of shit to try to fool a lot of us, divine feminines. You're going to know. They're going to do the snake shit. Or they're going to do the rat shit. They're going to do something that's going to let them off. You might look in their eyes and be able to tell. They got some type of fake snake feature placed upon them. This is venomous. Yep, queen of pentacles. King of cups. Yes. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. What is this? We got yes. With the... Uh, be careful of friends, too. Because them hoes be envious. They got snakes on them, too. Like, if you meet a new friend or something, they got a snake on them, too. It's a friendship snake. I'm hearing friendship spell. To make you feel like somebody's your friend and they really competing with you or they really like your man or they really weird as fuck. They could even like you. That's new people, though. For some of y'all, I feel like a lot of y'all, they go a lot of old motherfuckers. Um, what is this King of Cups here? Ooh, booty. Boo. Booty. Noel. Pick those up for me, please. Regular nine to five. So a king of cups here is working hard. I'm here working hard or hardly working. 
blue to green eyes and gay. What the hell is this? Um, one to three children. Are they working with a king of, uh, because they come out and upside down, meaning like you don't know this cancer. They could be working, yeah, third party said forgive them. I mean, I said third party said forgive them. Oh, yeah, this third party won't forgive them. Spirit said give, forgive them. Um, But somebody's, um, yeah, mentally unstable. They don't got it all. They could be working with a king of cups, and this person could be gay. It's coming out in reverse. So for some of y'all, this could just be your soulmate. Yeah, we got mentally stable help, and I'm watching you. So somebody's helping somebody spy on you or watch you or send people towards you. So this queen of pentacles actually don't have no idea who this um king of wands is, okay, in this emperor in reverse energy because they're not standing in their power. They actually think somebody is beautiful. But it's the point of this king of cups is the one that sent – this King of Cups could know this. This um, King of Wands, this Queen of Pentacles probably don't know this motherfucker. She's just probably doing the magic, okay? Cause she wants the money. Let's see. Come on, booty. Today my baby birthday, y'all. We finna get ready. Yeah, look, whole lot of money. It's a whole lot of money in this motherfucker. Somebody could be dealing with a Capricorn. Lotto's a Capricorn. Or somebody could be like Italian, I'm hearing. Or mixed or some shit. Because uh, she's also mixed. I think she's black and white is what I'm hearing. Black and white. So somebody probably not mixed or Hispanic or none of that shit at all. They just probably black and white. They done died. They hear some shit and slap the label on themselves the whole time. They Neanderthal. I mean, I'm not coming for nobody, but I'm getting like, somebody here is a damn mess, okay? I'm just going to be honest. I don't, I don't, they got to be talking about, because my ancestors just came in with that one. Motherfucker got to be talking about somebody. I'm hearing racial slurs. They saying some racist shit behind people back, like that black motherfucker or something like that. They're saying racist shit. Somebody could be skinny slash slim. Cause my ancestors just went in. They ain't finna go in like that. We don't do that. We got good pussy eater. Yum. Come on, no. Somebody ain't not paying attention to them. These people working together are fucking around. Queen of Pentacles. This could be why somebody wants somebody. What's this Queen of Pentacles here? In the reverse. Yeah, I just seen racist. And I just seen working with others against you. This person also be bald-headed. They're narcissists. Or they recently cut all their damn hair off or something. Somebody's weird as fuck. Yeah, Sage, your house, the other items. Man, I can't make this shit up. They want to be with somebody because they feel like they're a good pussy eater. And somebody could be skinny. Happiness in reverse. Yeah. Somebody's not happy. Look, ugly as fuck. Somebody really feel like somebody's ugly as fuck. They can feel like this man is ugly as fuck. This queen of pentacles. Is it this man? Yeah, I'm hearing yes. Somebody actually does not even really find somebody to be attractive. They just don't want somebody to be with somebody else. <sighs> somebody feel like somebody tried to play them. <sighs> Like, if you're a divine masculine here, excuse me, no shocker blockage. If you're the divine masculine here and you tried to go off a of beat with somebody, somebody thought you was trying to play them. So they sent in some type of decoy or something. This could already be going on. Uh, little do you know, like, around you energetically. This is why this person been acting weird, shifting their energy, nervous and shit. Okay, for some of y'all, if you are the feminine here, this this King of Wands is doing that shit because they know energetically you finna pick up on some shit and they know that they competing and they ass is grass. The stink will be stomped on, just period. For some of y'all, they could even be trying to back out at the last minute. It's too late. What's already done in the dark is already coming to the light. 
was done in the dark will come to the light. Yeah. These motherfuckers is scared. Motherfucker, I'm ill. I feel like because whoever the fuck they playing with, you don't got no sense for real. You do, but you the type of motherfucker you give it all the way to divine and you don't want nothing laid down. So it's like if a motherfucker come poke you with a needle, right? You want them to be poked back. But see, the thing about it is they'll poke you and they don't take the higher fence. Some of these motherfuckers have something to do with like sense of feeling. I don't know if their feelings are taken away or they have no feelings or sense of empathy. They have no sense of empathy. So it's like, you know how a motherfucker stab you in the back, right? But then it's like, you take that shit and you take it like a champ and then you turn around, you take that knife out your back, at your back and then they staring because they scared in the motherfucker. They like, damn. Now they scared because they didn't think about how it would hurt when they stab you in the back. But now that you finna stab them in the back, they freaking the fuck out. They like, damn. No, and then it's like somebody, people know you're protected. That's actually what's crazy. They know you're protected. They know you're this hyphen, and they keep doing this shit. They keep playing with it. That's why some of them is trying to back out. Like if somebody was sent towards you, they trying to back out. They scared of the motherfucker, especially with this King of Cups energy. This King of Cups, y'all, I ain't going to lie. This person going to die or something. We keep getting this energy of, yeah, I just seen the Ace of Swords. I'm telling you, I never got to make it up. I never got to make it up. This person is defensive because they know that. They know their time is coming because of all the shit that they're doing. They keep trying to do shit. You are somebody who you teach others. You inspire others. You cannot trick the trickster. Excuse me if I'm yelling in y'all ear. I get a little excited. They doing magic to cause you illusion, and you're fucking protected. You're protected. Ooh, ooh, y'all see that? Ooh, you could be, you could play that game too. Magician in reverse. It's two magicians in reverse here. You could play that game too, but I feel like you play a little different. You got God on your side. You don't do no hocus pocus, but you manifest for that shit to go back in your favor, whatever this is. You automatically manifest for it to go in your favor, and it does, and it does. You're very balanced like that. It's like, no, why would I get mad? I'm going to still be... Nice. <gasps> I'ma still be nice. I'ma still be nice. Higher power just finna fuck them up. Or something like that. And you know this. I feel like somebody just be sent back smoking a weed. And you know this, man. While motherfuckers conning and stealing. It's like you you know, because high power is going to show you. Things are going to be revealed. Motherfucker eyeballing your shit. Just say, for instance, they do manage to take a cup. Their hands going to get cut off. Their hands going to get cut off for that one cup. That little bit amount of energy or whatever that they take from you is going to be a severe consequence because of this automatically right off the back a lot of these motherfuckers are scared bro a lot of these motherfuckers are scared now i'm feeling like this king of wands here they could have just been sent off they could have been under some type of illusion this is somebody who could actually have the opportunity to change their life around they could definitely be in this karmic energy but they can make some difference this, this uh, King of Cups here is actually somebody that has a lot of love and care for you. But this person could definitely be a soulmate. You didn't know that they had their hands or something. This person could have tried to talk to you before and you turned them down. Or something about this person feeling like they can't have you or something. Queen of Cups. 
yeah, I feel like you guys are soulmates. I'm hearing toxic twin flame. For some of y'all, this is your talk. This is a karmic twin flame because this person refused to heal. Um, they could have actually had an opportunity with you, but they didn't want to heal their energy. For some of y'all, this could be coming up. Yeah, you had to make a head over heart decision and let this person go. This is not your twin flame. This is a karmic twin flame. You let them go for something brand new, and they could have brought in a queen, a king of wands. But then we got the emperor in reverse over here with this king of wands. Is this king of wands a toxic twin flame? No, I feel like they're just um, an emperor in reverse. Strength. Yeah, weak. Weak-minded. Strength and defeated. They, they, I feel like this person's actually fucking exhausted or trying to catch you up or hurt you. Yeah, look. Karmic soulmate. This person's exhausted with trying to, uh, from trying to catch you up or hurt you in some kind of way. Cancer. It's not working. For some of y'all, you got cancer placement, so you're not a sun sign cancer. You be like cancer moon or something. But somebody's exhausted here, or somebody's exhausted but trying to catch this queen of cups up. Somebody has so much love, bro. That's why higher power is with this person every step of the way. Yeah, somebody's like, I will only be in the way. So somebody's no longer trying to be in your way. Ooh, somebody know they finna pass away. Y'all ain't gonna lie, I heard that in another reading. Um, but somebody, uh, in that song, I'm hearing that Whitney Houston, I will only be in the way. And I will always love you. Okay? I'm getting like, somebody gonna have, always have all this love for you, but they try to stop you or hurt you or steal from you. So it, whatever's happening is happening. And they get in innocent people involved in this shit uh, to try to comfort you, not knowing how powerful you are. A lot of people end up might, might end up passing away because of, you know, their attraction to you, okay, and trying to come in and hurt you. For some of y'all, they trying to take it back, though. This, this King of Cups is too late. I'm talking as far as this King of Wands here. I'm hearing renege. Somebody's backing out of the contract. Like, nah, bro, I don't want to do that shit no more. I don't feel right about it or something like that. It's higher power. Motherfuckers start having dreams and stuff about you. They thought you were, like, who gave you? They thought you were not a real priestess, but you a real fucking priest. They were in an illusion them damn selves by the devil. See how it works? The damn devil send people off. Now people dying and shit, coming and fucking with you. Shit, serious. Boundaries. I feel like your boundaries are strong, Empress. Your boundaries are strong. You'll cut a motherfucker off quick. And they know this. Somebody smoke weed or they like Friday. I'm here, and you know this, man. <laughs> Excuse me, family. Those shaka blockies. Big booty Judy. Big booty Judy. Somebody say you got a big booty. You got a nice body or something. Yeah, ten of swords. Recovery. Yeah, you got your boundaries up. Stronghold. I'm hearing like you strongholding bitches, you strongholding niggas. You rather work alone, be by yourself. You got motherfuckers in a chokehold. Like who y'all think y'all playing with? Some of these might some of these motherfuckers might make up, be having near death experience, like they might stop breathing in their sleep or they um they are having heart heart problems or stuff like that. 
And it didn't develop until they start fucking with you. That's how they know. Like, it's because of you. Somebody know that they day is coming. And I know, like, not to be talking about the 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 death and all this other shit, but listen, listen, Linda, whoever I'm talking to, you better get with the program. Like, not saying like forcefully, but like I said, get with the motherfucker program because it's a lot being illuminated. Look at that. You finna be moving to common waters, but in order to do that, you have to get with the program and understand. The law of the universe. You have to be balanced within your energy. Okay? Ain't no dark without the moon. Ain't no moon without the sun. So it's obvious that you have to be balanced. Don't be against your demons. Be with your demons. Because them the ones who going to make sure when a motherfucker try to fuck you over, they coming. Full fed your head. Starting having tea with your demons. Y'all be scared running from y'all demons. Why? Make at uh, um alliances, sit down and talk to your demons. Be cool with your demons. Face your shadows. You'll be surprised how much it helps you, cause them motherfuckers is ruthless. For some of y'all, you got ruthless ancestors that control them demons. That be sending them after motherfuckers. I'm telling y'all, motherfuckers be having dreams about you. Then came up in they sleep and bit they fucking head off. They be having weird ass dreams like that. Them is your demons attacking them because of what they've done to you. And it's just, I know people are like, I don't want that to happen. You ain't got to want it. You just, when you declare your justice, it's war. Damn, I can't make it up. I will never complain, y'all face. I love a high power confirming. That, this shit literally slid out. I don't know if y'all seen the deck, is, the half of the deck is right here. It slid out, and it came to this. This is what it comes down to. Death. Motherfuckers seeing the Grim Reaper. And it's coming upside down because this is what you don't know or what you're afraid of. I'm here, what are you so afraid of? Somebody, because somebody wanted you to die. And they can have Scorpio in their chart. And they like, what are you so afraid of? Why you won't die? What are you afraid of? But all in reality, it ain't your time to go. You don't put nothing or or make it. Um, you don't you don't control shit. Is what my ancestors are saying. They don't control nothing. They can't tell you when it's time for you to go. So instead, these motherfuckers finna meet their maker. Maker. It's, it's two people that might fucking die. I'm just gonna be honest. Ooh, look at that. Who is that? Uh-uh, don't hide, baby. I'm flipping back over. Y'all can't see. Don't hide. Don't hide. It was flipped over. She tried to flip over like this. Don't hide. Somebody got Scorpio on their chart. What are you so afraid of? I feel like you're not afraid of dying because you already know you're going to be reborn as an angel again. But the thing is, they feel like they try to hold you. They try to kill you, Cancer. And they try to hold you. They just trying to demolish you, bro. Like, definitely with them Capricorns. Um, I didn't even mean to say that. They did, though. They tried to they try to take you out. They tried to hunt you. They tried to be hostile. They tried to bully you. They even tried to send bitches to bully you. Bitch, you're unstoppable. You ain't scared of shit. You sit down and you deal and you have alliances with your demons. How could you be afraid or scared of anything? The bigger they is, the harder they fall. You understand that? That's tough. That's motherfucker that want to be so tough. Yeah, we got something for your tough ass. Now you scared, shaking, trembling in your boots. It's too late, baby. So y'all be aware of that snake that's in the, your boots. That's in the back, round, plotting. I only feel like this person, honestly, I really don't feel like this person plotting. They just confused as fuck because somebody playing with their brain to try to come after you, Cancer. 
And this person could potentially be uh, the emperor coming out probably because it's not your master and somebody's trying to convince you that it is. That's why the emperor reversed. So some of y'all, that's why they could be coming out. I feel like this person is just lustful, a lustful being, okay? And they're being sent towards you, okay? And they know that they don't have pure intentions and they know that. And that's why they're trying to back out of it because they don't feel right about it. For some of y'all, they had a dream about you. And they're like, damn, I need to leave them alone. And now this King of Wands trying to back out. You got this King of Cups here that's just in the past. Uh, they did too much. And this person was actually a soulmate of yours. And then you got this um, damn Queen of Wands here that's trying to hide their hand. They going to jail, but they might pass away and they sleep in jail. Or they might commit suicide. I'm just being honest here. I would never come on here and play with y'all face. They did way too much, bro. They tried to kill you. Some of y'all physically, some of y'all energetically, some of y'all both. All right? But that's all I have for you, Cancer family. Thanks for chilling with your girl, okay? Um, I appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing to the channel. Thank you so very much, family. If this video has helped you, resonate with you in any kind of way, definitely go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. And I will definitely catch you guys in the next one. Peace, love, and prosperity, family. Mwah. I love you. Till next time. Hey family, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Happy Sis Mar. I'm back on more tea, back on another read. And we're going to go right in, sage our space, and see what is coming energy for Scorpio. Hi, power, archangels, and sisters, gods, and goddesses of the divine white light. Please protect me and my Scorpio family as we get into this read. Please protect our energy from any unwanted souls, vibes, or entities. Please give us the clarity and the truth. Please surround us with your love and guide us with your wisdom. Always and forever, hi, power, archangels, and sisters of the divine white light. Showing gratitude and thanks for all the blessings, the lessons, the seasons, and new beginnings. For you delivering us away from temptation, guiding us throughout our journey to the motherland of milk and honey. Forever grateful for your divine protection and love. Amen. And with that being said, let's tap on any. Family, please keep in mind my readings definitely could be future based. Please take whatever that resonates for you and leave the rest, okay? Um, somebody could be dealing with a Capricorn, have Capricorn highly aspected in their chart. Um. Okay, family, I had to do a mic check. Mic 212. They want me, but I, I'm all on you. Who be rapping? Yeah, I'm here. Um, don't save uh somebody is a fan of J. Cole. All right. We got this damn imprisonment. This just came out for cancer. So let's see what's going on with this. I'm hearing um house arrest. American family insurance. Is that life insurance? Discernment change, feminine energy. This all came out together. So somebody could be having some type of change of heart. Or somebody's dealing with some type of significant amount of change. This could have something to do with poverty. We got ascension. Somebody could be ascending and somebody could be down in the dumps. Uh, whether they're down in the dumps about somebody ascending or something is not happening how they want it to be. And so, like, um... Getting like, I'm getting like Scorpio. Somebody's down in the dumps about your ascension. Yeah. I don't need you. I don't need you. I still want you. I feel like somebody don't even really want somebody or really care about them. It's just energy of wanting. Shit, this could be sexually energetic or like just somebody just feel like they want you. Like... You can't be away from them. This could be about control. Somebody's like, I don't need you. I don't even really like you. It's giving me like a real snobby kind of attitude. I feel like because somebody feels like they're better, it's their mindset. They feel like they're better than any and everybody, which means like this person going to automatically feel like you're not worthy enough to be around them. But I feel like this is somebody who actually has a real shitty attitude or personality, meaning like somebody, they don't need to be around nobody, okay? People don't need to be around this damn person.
What's imprisonment here? Okay. We also got the emperor too. Psychological. This could be emperor and empress being placed under some type of psychological restraints here. This could be talking about um, having sex. Okay. This could be energetically. One person could be wanting to have sex. Somebody could be trying to gather information about somebody if they're having sex or what's going on. Somebody trying to make a hard decision. They're stuck between a rock and a hard place or they could be confused about clarity. They need to get more um, clarity about something. They don't know what they're talking about or something like that. Or somebody is was placed in some type of illusion about what's really going on. I'm hearing that lean with it, rock with it, lean with it. I don't know what the fuck that means. I walk in the club. I don't know, somebody could be going to the club. Yup, in my white tee, I break a bitch back. Somebody could be getting danced on by females at the club or something. Damn. Yeah. Oh, so if somebody in their head energetically, they could have placed somebody in a mental prison. Get out of the living room. Bye. Somebody could have placed somebody in a like some type of mental prison or hope uh, because they feel some type of way. I feel like I'm here divine masculine. So I could be talking to the masculine here. You did this to this empress. You got this king of wands energy on you. But you coming out of your head about something. The five of swords heals. Healing. About being confused. So you could have found out somebody was talking about somebody or you had like this lustful energy with this king of wands here. I don't know. The king of wands, this could be another king of wands. And if I'm talking to the master, this could come out of us. You don't know this king of wands. So you could have heard about somebody being with somebody or being in a relationship, some type of foundation or something. But you were confused, whatever you found out about. You put somebody under some type of... I'm, I'm hearing, oop, I did it again. This ain't your first time jumping into conclusions about this damn person and being in your head. With the five of swords, that's mental conflict. And it's coming out in reverse. So it's like, oh, I had some type of realization. But it's like, somebody just... It's just more clear that you need to heal. Um, yeah, somebody's making head over hard decisions now, though. Somebody's compliant. Um, compliance is what I'm hearing. Yeah, this gossip. All this gossip made you undetermined or not wanting to be with somebody or be around somebody. But that's the point. If you say you listen to people that's gossiping, then duh. What the fuck you think gossip is going to do? Rumor has it. They're going to go out and get the tea. That's what they do. They do it for entertainment. I do this shit for fun. They they like starting up shit and kicking shit up for fun. They do it on purpose. And I feel like whoever I am, you you just gullible. You're, I, I'm sorry. I do apologize. The truth hurts sometimes, but you're gullible. You're gullible to wanting to take in bad news, especially when it comes to this empress. I really feel like that. Somebody want look stripped illusions is coming out at the bottom right here. Numbers twenty seven could be significant. Numbers twenty nine, number six, number nine, and number seventeen and twenty four could be significant. But I feel like somebody here, they, they always does this. They always jump to conclusions. Are they quick to believe what somebody else has said about somebody? It's like you don't want to see this person as an empress or something. That's really what it's giving me. Hold on, y'all. Somebody could be dealing with a Gemini. Somebody could feel like somebody's a tease.
I wanted to change my title and my cancer reading. Um, let's go in, Scorpio. Yeah, so you was in this energy of feeling like somebody's a dog and you got to get them back. I'm hearing all dogs go to hell. So somebody was willing to go to hell to bite that bone is what it's giving me. Justice. King of Pentacles in reverse. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. These people are going to be getting justice. Celebration. I'm hearing clap, clap, bravo. I feel like Scorpio, you're going to be celebrating. You're going to be healing. Okay, you're going to make it out the desert storm. Four of Cups talks about rejection. I'm hearing denial. Somebody can be hostile. Somebody's work decided to work by themselves. Some of you are hearing about a lot of um, rejection. Are you hearing about stuff that's making you reject somebody? I feel like the original plan was to work with somebody and do something, but because of this gossip, you were undetermined. Okay? Somebody here be saying racial slurs. They be saying racist shit. I don't know if this could be about spirituality. This could also be about, like, somebody's culture, ethnicity, race, religion. What they believe in, but they be saying racist stuff. Um, somebody here is rebuilding. Okay, some type of stable foundation. This could be you, or this could be a feminine. You could be a feminine Scorpio. Somebody does not. The other person doesn't know this. Somebody's unaware. So you put yourself wherever you see fit, but somebody's watching. Is somebody getting into tarot? They're being stingy, now you're not saying nothing, okay? They're monitoring, they're watching. This could definitely be a tarot person. They be, they doing tarot here. Something's unsuccessful. Or they found out um about a two of cups and they had some type of imbalancement. They found out about something by watching. This, this don't have to be tarot. This could be monitoring, some type of giving and receiving. They found out about something that had them feeling some type of way. Strange. It's almost like this person don't cry like they are. I, uh, what's they call that damn? An AI. A damn robot. But then they start crying. Somebody could be dealing with Aquarius and all these damn interruptions. It's no well birthday, so that's why. Hold on. Okay, shh. I'm still doing my reading. All right. Something was unsuccessful. Something was unmatched here. This could definitely have something to do with a feminine and your discernment. Okay, somebody could have decided to reinvest here. There's not a celebration or there won't be. I don't know. Somebody's watching something. Somebody could be hostile, jumped into conclusions. Oh, yeah. So, so somebody don't like somebody. Somebody don't like somebody. That's what that is. With the emperor coming out. I mean, with the emperor's coming out. Somebody's not finding somebody attractive or appealing. Uh, Eight of Cups, they're walking away. They could even be emotionally manip. They could definitely even be being emotionally manipulative with their energy, not taking a leap of faith. For they're doing this on purpose. I mean, I feel like you're the queen of cups. You have a lot of love. You're very caring, loving, kind, um, nurturing. You can even love this person, and they know that, and they're trying to be emotionally manipulative. Because they're holding some type of grudge against you or something. Or this is you doing this to somebody else. 
that you really love or something. Somebody weird as hell. Yeah, and they sit over there and regret because this is what they're manifesting. They over there sad, but then they, okay, this is somebody who needs to, I don't know. They got too much pride and ego. They listen to what everybody say. Um, They want you to speak some type of truth, but yeah, they ain't speaking nothing to you or saying anything to you. Um, it's just one of those energy of like somebody feels like I'm a, I'm a cut you off. If you a dog, I'm a dog too. So they got they going out, they doing whatever they doing. I don't know if they been promiscuous or what they doing, or they could have just ended something because they feel like you know you 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 dating or you out there on a on a prowl. Single looking back on the prowl, thought it was over. I don't know how, and then they mad. But my thing is, if they didn't did this to you before and they mad about it, obviously they didn't fucked up before. That's why I got discernment, change of feminine energy. They didn't fucked up on their discernment. Yeah, I'm hearing a hard pill to swallow. They didn't fucked up before and they know that. But yet this person has something about pride and ego with this person. Okay. Uh, I don't know what they expect you to do. Sit there and just not do anything, not move on with your life. I don't know, Scorpio. I feel like this person keeps assuming that you're going to wait from them, wait for forever, that you're going to always, you know what I'm saying, always be this ride or die chick when they, they didn't even show you no loyalty at all. Because I'm speaking for somebody who has done this before. This is why this couple, Empress and Empress, is both in this imprisonment because it's the mental clarity. And I feel like it's this emperor who gets frustrated, assumes, jumps to conclusions, don't know how to open their mouth and say what it is that they they feeling or whatever it is that they're going through, and they automatically make assumptions and they get mad. Yep, I just seen the higher fan reverse. Tower. King of Swords, yeah, somebody's always quick to jump and be this King of Swords. And it's like, well, cool, be, be whatever you're going to be. I feel like if you're the feminine here, you ain't really worried too much about it. You ain't really tripping. You're going to get whatever you deserve regardless whether it's with this person or not. This person wants to be with you, but they got too much pride and ego. Yeah, another tower. This motherfucker having devil tower. So they know you're going to be happy regardless. They feel like higher power favors you. But I feel like whoever this is, they're an emperor. So it's like higher power favors them too. But they, yep, look, lovers in reverse. Ten of cups and empress. So what is this lovers in reverse here? Karmic soulmate or I'm here twin flame. Somebody could have fell out of love. I'm here single again, back on the prowl, blessed. What's lovers in reverse? My Scorpios. We got one to three children. A a a financial abundance. We got homebody, thought he slash she was better than you. Oh, so they could have got a karmic lover pregnant and they had a baby by this person. This person's not an empress. But they definitely did get this person pregnant and had a baby by this person. Or let me see. Yep, higher power, archangels, ancestors, listen up. So maybe this lover here, yeah, vacation. So this person could probably, they had a baby, ten of cups with somebody. Um, A karmic soulmate of theirs. Ball-headed. A karmic twin flame. Uh, but what's Empress? Let's see. This person could have like a lot of pimples on their face. 
I'm hearing excruciating pain. Something with excruciating pain. We got good juju. We black. I'm getting like an activist with that black, black nation, black power, sex addict. Somebody's freaky. We got stabbed in the back and we got 333 dreams of reality. So somebody could have definitely stabbed this empress in the back by having a baby or having a family, um, some type of ten of cups with a soulmate. Or this is what somebody's juggling. A family situation, an empress, and this karmic lover. Um... And uh, while they're juggling all that, they're juggling um, being single again. I mean, somebody's being single. And we got plotting on it. What's plotting on it? They plotting on you. February, January, March. What are they plotting? Or something could have, somebody could have been plotting around January, February, March. What are they plotting? Plotting high power on my Scorpio. We got to come back to me, come back to me, come back to me. Ah. I feel don't think about it too much. Somebody's doing something around the clock regularly, ride or die. They're trying to, I don't know, this person could be energetically. They're, they're, they're playing with magic, though, energetically. And we got to come back to me. Somebody doesn't want you to move on. They don't love me like you do. They're having a tire moment because somebody, yeah, we got a new beginning, but it's coming out in a reverse, an engagement. I love you more. This is all three that was just at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like, I feel like whoever this is, this person is watching me currently. Like, if they're going to watch this reading um, that's, you know, that you're dealing with. Okay, or this could be you watching this reading. I feel like this is you and your master watching this reading. Um... But I'm getting like, they know somebody doesn't love them how they love, like you love them, okay? This person is currently doing magic because they don't want you to move on and be with anybody. But they're also juggling the fact that they got a whole family to deal with. You out here single and stable. They want to be with you, but then they got this karmic that's around them. Somebody got a sex addict or somebody could just be real freaky. Okay, um, like like you could be a freak, but you can control yourself. Three, 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 make your blessings a reality. Okay, I feel like you um are going after your dreams here. You know that somebody backstabbed you. Yeah, they go that shut the fuck up energy. That's somebody, somebody. Um, it's a woman, an older woman, or somebody here that's definitely energy projected that don't want shit to be said. I've been getting that all night. Somebody here is really a um. A homebody and they come with like a lot of abundance but somebody is balancing some type of lie that they deal with they were spiteful and evil and malicious do i ever cross your mind in turn do you ever wake up reaching out for me do i ever cross your mind in turn I miss you. But I heard I love you. So this is all energetic, though. I only feel like this king, this empress, and this emperor has even come together. This is all energetically. And somebody's fighting back their tears and their emotions. They trying to act like they strong. But they be really want to cry and shit, like... Yeah, you make me sick. And they mad at that. They mad that you got them this way, Scorpio. They mad that you make them feel this way. But I feel like it could, for some of y'all, they was doing counter work and trying to make you chase them or something, and that shit backfired. That's why the emotions and stuff is so strong as well. Because of whatever the fuck that they were doing in the dark, that shit backfired. Because I keep seeing black magic and family together getting divorced. For some of y'all, they was dealing with somebody who was doing black magic, and that made them want to come towards you, too. So for some of y'all, this person has a real strong urge to come towards you, but they just won't do it. Or they they too prideful about something. Or they want to say narcissist. Okay, well, you know what? 
and we got sucks his dick. So I feel like for some of y'all, you're not having sex with this person, and they're being a narcissist because of that. They don't want to come towards you because they got all this sexual energy built up, and you don't want to have sex with them. And we got to tell the truth. They mean nothing to me. I feel like this is what this person's going to say. But all in reality, this person definitely does want to have sex. And that's why they're not, they, they, this person's still in this narcissistic attitude. So I feel like, yeah, I probably wish you'd be done about this, though, with my Scorpio. Trash in reverse. <sighs> I'm getting like high power saying. Somebody has a trashy ass way of thinking and mindset. They need to tell the truth. Yep. Reader slash loves to read. Tell the truth to this reader. If this is you, you need to tell the fucking truth, right? You would not, you would never be happy. You would never be happy until you tell the truth. Okay? For some of y'all, they wanna they wanna tell the truth. For some of y'all, they don't. Are you really happy without me? This is the real question that they want to ask. If they're not saying anything, I'm hearing closed mouths don't get fed. You mean the world to me. But it's like, yeah, you don't need nobody else. You see how they saying all this shit now, but then somebody's sitting over there mute, quiet, like not even saying shit. I'm hearing mute and ninja turtles. Ninja turtles. Yeah, sour patch mood. This person's constantly up and down with their emotions and feelings. They don't know what they want to say. They don't know what they want to do. Um, they be feeling it and thinking it, but they don't want to say nothing. Weird. Somebody's weird, bro. Look, I'm watching you. This is all they're doing. They're watching you. Closing in on you. So I don't know. But they don't want to tell the truth. They mean nothing to me. That's what they're going to say. They ain't got nothing on you. But they ain't going to tell what they was doing and what was going on and how other people convinced you. They're going to come talk about somebody. Oh, that bitch ain't nothing. They house dirty. They stain. Um, you the best I ever had. But then it's like, that's not an apology. That's not an honest, genuine apology. New house. And we got Leo in the reverse. This could be... Somebody's ancestors told them to say no to somebody with short hair or told you. Moving and big lips. Yeah, somebody somebody talked too much about somebody moving. Or you could have up and said too much about you moving. Prove it. I feel like this is Scorpio. But I don't know. Yep, wording. So, somebody wants you to prove something. A Leo wants you to prove something. Or, I don't know. Do somebody want you to prove something by sleeping with them? So, I'm hearing, do I ever cross your mind? And you say, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like this person wants to know that they have your trust he slash she was better oh family together he slash she would never know but i said he slash she was better so and family together is somebody trying to prove something to somebody else what is this Green and blue eyes. Um, somebody thought somebody was better than you. Sex appeal, the sex nature was better. Yeah, sexy as fuck. Somebody thought somebody was sexy and so they wanted to eat their pussy. Okay, background checks. Shooting. Then they found out the background of this. I don't know. I don't know about this. I don't know about this, Scorpio. I mean, you don't really want my honest opinion. Um, because I feel like, you know... Let them go be with whoever they thought was better. Fuck it. And then I mean, like, they believed everything somebody else said about you. So let them believe it. Like, who gives a fuck? I feel like that's the energy you're in. you like, so what? I feel like these people is the ones. Leah, come back to me. Because these is the ones that is energetically in your energy. I feel like you minding your own business. You got this nigga, this bitch, okay, that they wanted to be with or whatever. 
whatever the fuck that they were doing, they thought this person was better than you, looked better than you, sexier than you, or had some type of sex appeal. Okay, cool. Whatever. But then when you date and do whatever you do, they want to be a narcissist, okay, because they don't want to say what they really was doing. Um, and then they want to hide their emotions and feelings and, and have you going through all this ringer. You don't got to go through that shit, bro. Fuck them. You don't got to go through that. You do not have to deal with that. Yeah, I went through your phone. For some of y'all, they went through your phone. They're monitoring your text messages. They could be um, IP scanning. I don't know what that is. Somebody could definitely doing something with technology. They're looking at your phone. It's weird. Whole bunch of weird ass shit. And then they got this bitch who's in the background that's doing shit too. To try to monitor you or come for you, copycat your energy. Somebody's trying to uh, make it seem like you're promiscuous or whatever. But some of y'all, I don't care. They know that this female is promiscuous, but they're refusing to leave or they're refusing to hold their ground. They're probably not having sex with this female, but it's obviously on some point that they're giving more loyalty to this female than they're giving it to you because they're not absolutely saying anything to you about it. And then they're, they're sitting back having all these sexual fantasies and thinking about you why they land next to the next female but then they mad at you because you moved on somebody is so weird weird as fuck give it booty come on Antoine's. yeah fuck you pay me so i feel like a lot of this shit is all about money bro they with somebody because of the money yeah dark skin or somebody with them because of money um, but I feel like let them, you know, let them be karmic. Let them have their karmic ass endings. Yeah, mall, out to eat, shopping. So it's like they taking this person everywhere. They doing everything for this person. Cool. So why the fuck are they mad about you? Whatever it is that you're doing, sprinkles in reverse. I feel like you somebody, you'll tell the truth. Liquor. I'm hearing it's something in this liquor. The air is getting thicker. This person can want to take you out for drinks. Like I said, this person want to fuck. And then this could be around the winter time. I don't mm, tall as fuck. Mm, if you ask me, I don't mm, mm, fucking for money. If you ask me, I, I, I don't know. You don't want my opinion. Brown eyes. Mexican. They was fucking on prostitutes and all this other shit. Yep, had a baby behind your back. Motherfuckers who, who, they, these bitches was hoes. Like they had, they was fucking their friends and families and shit. Yep, and they affected by those thoughts. That shit keep replaying over and over in their head and they don't want to move forward. So why be mad at you? Whatever they did, whoever that they chose and decided to be with, why the fuck is they getting mad at you for who they decided to be with and what they decided to do? Somebody's Mexican and somebody's dark skin. So what, why are they getting mad at you for what they decided to do? That's who. That's what team you decided to choose, stay on that team. And then you move on and go be happy or you're dealing with other motherfuckers and then they get mad at you. I feel like this person's trying not to think about you, but they can't help it. Dirty slash sloppy. It's some evidence against somebody. A copycat energy or somebody copying you, mimicking you. It's the evidence about somebody fucking a nephew or something, and they were being spiteful about it. And I feel like when somebody found this out, they decided to heal and be a loner. And just be by themselves. Ooh. I feel like whoever you are, though, Scorpio, you're still ascending. Whether this is a man or a woman, you're still on new levels here. You, I'm hearing new levels, new devils. So for some of y'all, you know, you got, you know, snakes that's trying to grow new skin and come after you. But I feel like all in reality, you still prospering, okay? As far as this person, I don't know. I don't know what y'all, let's see. 
I probably, what do you want Scorpio to do about this person? Stay guarded. Defend yourself against this person. That's what you need to do, Scorpio. Because they're confused. There's some good news coming in about giving and receiving. Um, something you've seen in a dream is going to come true. Um, nine of Pentacles. This person's still married. It's Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. That's, that's going to be some bad news. So you need to stay defensive against this person. They're still married or they're still in a relationship. So let them be with the hoes that they want to be with. Fuck them. You got good news. You got money coming in. You got giving and receiving coming in. For some of y'all, you got a whole new relationship coming in. Okay, yep. Three of Cups reuniting, coming together. Okay. I feel like this person study projecting energy onto you because they want to be with you. But they, they want to have their cake and eat it too. They, don't, they really all in reality don't know what the fuck they really want. They weird. I really feel like that. Yep, I just seen Ace of Cups. Brand new wish fulfillment. Brand new happiness. Brand new blessings from the bomb. Brand new job opportunities. Brand new everything. Somebody is constantly in their head about um, a Ten of Cups, a family. Ten of Cups in reverse. Emotionally manipulative family. Emotionally manipulative family members. But yeah, you need to stay guarded against this person because they're currently still in a relationship. Um, I don't know what's their point of coming back towards you. Maybe they want to be friends or whatever, but don't get this pussy. Oop. I did not mean to say that. I was, I'm here. Don't get this pussy up. Who the fuck is saying that? Y'all can have two people in your energy. Or this is you saying that? Excuse my language. That's how it came out. But I feel like you need to keep to yourself. Keep your legs closed. Don't get nobody nothing. Okay, because I feel like that's the... Even if you give a little bit of energy, you can get that back. Don't invest too much. It's really... It really is the sex because when you lay down with people, you create bondages. Okay? You create, you know, that... that, that that cord, okay, that um, ethical cord. So that's why I probably adamant on do not have sex with anybody, um, especially not this person. They not they they not divorced and they not trying to get divorced. Um, for some of y'all, they just walked away from a bitch, but they didn't they didn't officially. For some of y'all, they just give more loyalty to this person than they gave to you. Just period. I mean, that's something that could be brutally honest, but. It is what it is because if somebody haven't walked away and completely, you know, left somebody for good and they still in this energy, um, then, yeah, they need to heal. They need to heal, and that's up to them. They can even know this person's, you know, a doppelganger or whatever that they've been doing in the background. For some of y'all, they know that this man is gay if this is a man. If this woman was dealing with a man, they know this man is gay. Or if you dealing with a man, you know this man is gay or something like that. Shout out to my LGBTQ. But I feel like, you know, ain't nothing you can do about this shit. Fuck them. I'm hearing I don't fuck them, I just duck them. So somebody here is definitely ducking. Okay? Somebody could definitely be trying to come back towards somebody. But you definitely go check out that cancer's read when I said something about the one-eyed snake. Motherfucker want to come back for this lustful ass energy. They don't really mean you no good. Yeah, that nigga don't mean you no good. Don't trust no nigga, no. Now, I'm not saying you can't trust nobody, right? It's not what I'm saying. I'm saying like you can't trust this damn person. But that's all I have for you, Scorpio. Thanks for chilling with your girl. I appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing to the channel. Thank you so very much. If this reading has helped you in any kind of way, definitely go ahead and give your girl a like. Go ahead, hit that subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're updated when there's new videos. I love you guys, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace, love, and prosperity. Till the next time.